Missy something? Welcome, or well, welcome back, to Tone Trap Art. I am your friend Erica, and I apologize, it's been a rough month. So, it's just a mess of technology and other stuff. But today we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do my November book haul. Usually I leave that to the end with my wrap up. I have way too many books, and there are reasons. But first, let's start with my book of the month. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Uh, I didn't like the picks that they had this month, so instead of skipping, which I could have done, you could pick from uh, past months, and I really wanted this one. I should have picked up Here and Missy, but this one's been on the list, wish list longer, so pick this one up. Next, oop. <laughs> I received two books. Uh, I belong to the No Shelf Control on Facebook group. And so every month we do this exchange. So somebody puts out their wish list, and if you're after that, you have to buy from the person up top, and then the person behind you or on bottom picks for you, and, it, and they get stuff off your Amazon wish list. So I got one of us is lying. And one of us is next, the sequel. So these are mystery thrillers. Uh, they're both by Karen M. McManus. So shall be interesting. Thank you, Nicolette. I will enjoy these. I'm gonna read these um, hopefully in January. So be on the lookout for my January TBR. Okay, so the next set of books. They came because I had a $25 gift card to Amazon uh, through my job. It was part of our uh, employee appreciation. So that was shocking. Everybody got a $25 uh, gift card to Amazon. So with that, I bought three books. A Middle Grade, The Vanishing Trick by Jenny Spangler. It's a middle grade. Um, Leander is an orphan making his way in the world on just his wits. So when he meets Madame Pinchbeck, a mysterious woman who promises to give him a job and a home, in return for his mother's precious locket, he leaps at the chance. But Pinchbeck's bargain isn't a fair one. Instead, she enchants the locket, turning it into a magical cabinet and trapping Leander, inside to be summoned and vanished at will. And Leander isn't the only child Pinchbeck has captured. Along with his new, new friends, Charlotte and Felix, Leander finds himself in a race against time to break Pinchbeck's spell before one of them vanishes forever. Very interesting, that one. Sorry, got interrupted, of course. Next is Bird Box. Yeah, and it has this sticker that doesn't come off. Now a Netflix film. I can't, I hate that. It doesn't, when I, when I look on Amazon, it doesn't have that damn sticker on there, so. I have another book that I ordered that didn't have, and now there's like this sticker that'll, that doesn't come off. It's like, you know, permanent sticker. <sighs> I hate that, but if this is any good, I'm going to read the sequel, Mallory. But took me a while to be interested in this. I don't know why. I love things like this. I just, maybe I thought it was too out, far out there. I don't know. I just at the time wasn't interested and now I am. And when I hear other people talk about it, I think, okay, it's not that they're hyping it up. They are in a way because they've enjoyed their experience. So far, I haven't been led astray by anybody's recommendations only mine <laughs> when i recommend a, a book to myself sometimes i'm like mm -hmm. but this should be interesting this i hope is very interesting because this is a recommendation onto myself is Anne. i said Anne. annie prologue's bark skins now that sounds familiar uh, last year or earlier this year, 
Discovery had, I think it was just on Discovery, but one of the Discovery networks, part of the Discovery family, had a series called Barf Skins, and it was supposed to be a limited series. I think it was maybe eight to ten episodes, but it was so loved that there's another season. They're going to have a season two. Wait a second. <laughs> the other interruption. <laughs> I go from oldest to youngest child interrupting me. Okay. Anyways, on to this. So I wasn't sure if I'd like the series or not. I watched it. I fell in love with it. I loved the show. And I am so happy that they're going to pick up a second season. I love it. Uh, one of the one, uh, P actors I recognize, I don't remember his name. But he pre <laughs> prayed, played <laughs> Professor Lupin in um, the Harry Potter movies. And an actress that I recognize, I never remember her name, and I've seen her in movies and TV shows or TV uh, made for TV movies. Um, she plays the main um, barmaid or the owner of the tavern or whatever. And then, of course, you see uh, Matt Lillard briefly in a few of the first few episodes, and then he's out of there. <laughs> but I wanted to read this it is about the british and the french settling in canada during the times where the english also settled in america so what does it say i love this blue in the late 17th century two penniless young frenchmen rene sell and charles duclat arrive in canada then known as new france bound to a feudal lord a seigneur that's how I'm saying it, for three years in exchange for land. They become woodcutters, barkskins. Sell suffers extraordinary hardship, oppressed by the force he is charged with clearing. He is forced to marry a um, Mi'kwa woman, a uh, native, and their descendants live trapped between two inimical cultures. Duqua, crafty and ruthless, runs away from the senor, becomes a fur trader, then sets up a timber business. Prolox tells the stories of the descendants of Sel and Duquois over 300 years, their travels across North America to Europe, China, and New Zealand under stunningly brutal conditions, the revenge of rivals, accidents, pestilence, Indian attacks, uh, you know which Indians, and culture, cultural annihilation. Again and again they seize what they can of a presumed infinite resource, leaving the modern day characters face to face with possible ecological collapse. Prolog's inimitable <laughs> genius is her creation of characters who are so vivid in their greed, lust, vengefulness, or their compassion and hope that we follow them with fierce attention. Annie Prolox is one of the most formidable and compelling American writers, and Barkskins is her greatest novel, a magnificent marriage of history and imagination. I'm excited for this book. It is a chunker, but they said they only got, I don't know how far they got into the book but there's so much more that they could write who knows it's like the walking dead you could write forever which kirkman's done and so the show will be done in about two years which sucks because that has become my favorite show all my favorite shows are just leaving me criminal minds as of late that of early this year i mean so those were the books that I got for $25. Now, the next things I got, next books and a planner, I got with a $100 Amazon gift card because I earned it. Um, I used an app called Mucho. And the Mucho app, you earn mooches uh, on what you spend. I mainly go to the grocery store every Friday, growing boys, eating and drinking me at home. And so it's easier you know, do that and pay with, it's easy. I get, I think it's like you get either one mucho for every $5 or every, I think that's what it is. And I earn. So it took me two and a half months to reach 330 mooches for a hundred dollars. There's other prizes on there, but until I think they get more established, I'm just going to stick with the Amazon gift cards because the rest of that stuff I don't care about. But Whatever floats your boat. I mean, look it up and see 
and you can have more than one credit card on there. So you just have to pick one as primary at one time. And then if you need to move it, you can at the same time move it the second one and make it primary and pay two cards at the same time. Uh, I don't think it works with food stamps and I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't think it works with work. Just to let you know, but it should work with any major credit card that you have. So I got a hundred dollar Amazon gift card and I got some stuff. So we'll start with the books. Octavia E. Butler's Fledgling. Now, there are some content warnings that I heard about. Most people may not like this because of the intimacy with a prepubescent, prepubescent child with an adult male. And it is because she's a vampire. She's a lot older, but of course her body doesn't age. If you think of Interview the Vampire with Claudia. Claudia was like, what, eight or ten years old? And she became a vampire and she doesn't age physically mentally spiritually yes so we don't know how old claudia is. she could be 70 years old stuck in a 10 year old's body so yeah that's where this is it's kind of like that but different yes this is definitely about vampires and i love vampires there are certain vampires i do not love and will not read if anybody knows me that means twilight no and it's really funny because I've read some of Suki Stackhouse and I don't know which came out first, Suki or uh, Twilight, but I think Suki came out and what I've heard about Twilight and the movies reminds me of Suki Stackhouse, only Suki was better. That's my opinion and my opinion only. If you don't like it, that's fine. Everybody's entitled. Station 11 by Emily St. John Mandel, a dystopian, which is very interesting. There's mixed reviews on it, but I like dystopia and right now nobody, not nobody, a lot of people may not want to read this because it has to do with, um, where to go, a flu pandemic. And right now we're in a pandemic and flu is coming. So, my theory, my theory only, I said it here first, flu and COVID-19 mutates into something different and somebody gets sick with it and oops, they turn into a zombie. My theory, my theory only. That'll be next. I mean, like most people say, what could be, what, what could be worse than this? Yeah, zombie. Then The Walking Dead will be for real and it won't be, it won't be a video game and it won't be a TV show. <laughs> then we're screwed. Then I'll be upset because I have all these books that I want to read and I'm just going to board up my house and not leave it. Except for food. I live in a forest. I don't live in a forest, but I live out in the country. So if I have to, oh, kill a deer. Hmm. I don't want to do that. I don't want to eat deer Ugh. or rabbit or snake. Whoa. Gross. No, thank you. Um, next one. I only one person I've seen really talk about this. It's called Paprika by Yasutaka Tsutsui. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, from Erica over at the Broken Spine. And she, I think she's the only one that's talked about it. I don't know if anybody else has, but if you're interested, I will read the synopsis. I find it interesting because it reminds me of 1980s horror in some respect. When prototype models for a dream invading device go missing at the Institute for Psychiatric Research, employees soon learn that someone is using these new machines to drive them all insane. Brilliant psychotherapist Atsuko Chiba whose alter ego is a dream detective named Paprika, realizes she's in danger. She must venture into the dream world in order to fight her mysterious opponents. Soon, nightmares begin to leak into daily life and the borderline between dream and reality grows unclear. The future of the waking world is at stake. So, 
sounds interesting to me because I grew up on Freddy Krueger. Now, I'm not saying this is a horror like Freddy Krueger, but because she has to go into a dream world. And just like in Freddy Krueger movies, you got to go into his world, which is the dream world. That's where he lives. And sometimes he can come out of that dream if you pull him out or something. I remember that from the first one. But this is totally different. And it's probably a psychological thriller, which I do love those. Entertain the brain. Um, but I'm interested in this because, I mean, that would be freaky if things came out of your dreams. Especially your nightmares. I mean, freaky. Ah. This is the one that I don't like. There's a sticker. And it was not promoted with this permanent sticker. But Fable. By Adriana Young. I am in love with this. With pirates. Being on the ocean. Sailing. Arr, Mickey. Um, it's almost like, what's her face? Oh. My book. Anne bon bon Bonnet. She was a pirate. That's what that reminds me of. And I am so interested in reading this. I love pirates. I really do. You, Most people would not think that looking at me. Oh, by the way, I got a haircut. La! Got it so I can cover the gray. Ha! Ah. But anyways, I just noticed as I'm looking, I'm like, hey, I got a haircut. Woo. Yeah, pirates remind me of haircuts. Yeah, because they need one. <laughs> Arr, they got, got rid of the scurvy. But I love this cover. I love it. Why? Because I love redheads. Because I want to be a redhead. I have some natural red, but I'm mostly a brunette. And she looks like an Irish one, or maybe even Scottish because of the freckles and some pale skin. And those blue eyes, and in the blue eyes you can see the pirate ship. Mm. I'm interested. But this one coming up is thanks to Neek. She was the first one that alerted me to this. Legend Born. By Tracy Dion. This is about this one breaking down some systems to find out what the heck happened to her mom. So, after her mother dies in an accident, 16-year-old Bree Matthews wants nothing to do with her family, memories, or childhood home. A residential program for bright high schoolers at UNC Chapel Hill seems like the perfect escape until Bree witnesses a magical attack her very first night on campus. Ooh. A flying demon feeding on human energies. A secret society of so-called legend-born students who hunt the creatures down. And a mysterious teenage mage who calls himself a Merlin and who attempts, and fails, to wipe Bree's memory of everything she saw. The mage's failure reveals Bree's own unique magic and a buried memory with a hidden connection. The night her mother died, another Merlin was at the hospital. Now that Bree knows there's more to her mother's death than what's on the police report, She'll do whatever it takes to find out the truth, even if that means infiltrating the legend born as one of their initiates. She recruits Nick, a self-exiled legend born with his own grudge against the group, and their reluctant partnership pulls them deeper into the society's secrets and closer to each other. But when the legend born reveal themselves as the descendants of King Arthur's knights and explain that a magical war is coming, Bree has to decide how far she'll go for the truth and whether she should use her magic to take the size and whether she should use her magic to take the society down or join the fight. Interesting. I love things like that. I love where there's more to something and you're looking to bring somebody down, but in the end, who are you gonna help? I mean, whose side are you on? I, I love it. Whether you go villain or whether you go hero or whether you just do both. That's fine with me. Aha! In the study with the wrench, the sequel to In the Hall with the Knife by Diana Peterfreund. So, I cannot tell you much, but it is the sequel. It is a YA. It is a clue. Mystery. I'm so excited. 
and I can't wait for the third one, which will probably be next year or maybe even 2022. I really hope it's 2021 because I want to read them all. Last book. Cinder. Yes. Luna by Marissa Meyer. I am looking into reading this. I'm hoping I like it. I like retellings. And if I like it, then I'll start buying the rest of the series. Because it already has it on the back. Now, isn't there another one after Ferris? I'll have to look. I have them all on my wish list. So if I like it, I will continue. If I don't like it, then I can take all those books off my wish list and then give this away. But I'm hoping to like it. Hi. Really? Sorry. I live next to a highway, so I'm loud semis, motorbikes, trucks, cars, whatever. My planner for 2021. These are examples. It is a Southworth. There's some, there's the tabs. Oh, if I can get to turn the page. There's the holiday. There's a yearly calendar. Uh, checking in is for last month. So like what happened in December wellness gratitude i might change that to something else notes uh this one says get started uh what to quit it and keep it up i'll see what i want to do with those i know what i might do with the notes here's where i'm going to put like when i'm going to film when i filmed when i edited when i uploaded uh, this is a don't forget right here. I'm also going to put when books are being released that I'm looking forward to. And then more of the don't forget down here. And then more of like the days and I'm going to put like little reviews of what I'm reading. Like say I've read like a 50 pages. I might want to say oh this is blah 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 blah. I like that. blank lined paper so if I want to add ideas for readathons TBRs TBR games um something to make me aware and then put it in my bullet June <laughs> I said June bullet journal and at the end I've got a pocket on each side I am looking forward to using this it's so pretty and I love pink. Let's see, pink. I love it. Oh, can you see my bookcase? Oh my goodness, there's the bookcase, the one and only. Oh, see the dragon in the background? I can't even point correctly. Dragon. And that square thing is one of the music boxes. Yeah, that's my dragon. Dolly's over there. I wanted to finally just stand up and video, but that's what I got with the hundred dollar Amazon gift card. I think that'll be it for my haul. I got a little close because I'm looking at time, <laughs> but it's been stressful. I know for everybody, and for me, we've had like let's see, in all this month, the cable went out. Then at least a week or two later, we had a power outage and it was out for hours. Like. Mm, six hours and it was cold and it was getting dark so yeah that didn't help and when i went to go upload what i had already filmed because i was in the middle of editing <sighs> corruption and then when i tried to film again these last few days i just didn't like what i filmed i didn't like it i thought it stunk so i'm just redoing certain ones so there you might see an abundance of videos from me now I have a lot to tape. 
So you might see I I have because it's Thanksgiving weekend. I have a lot more time. So I will be filming and editing and hopefully uploading. That takes some time, but I might just upload everything and then go back and edit those videos because that takes forever and you know, you creators know, but I will be happy to talk with you guys. So I will have everything that I, that all those books and where to get them down below in the description. Please leave me a comment, give me a like, and I will see you guys next time. And you guys enjoy your day, your evening, your night. I hope you are safe and blessed. And if nobody has said it today, well, I love you. Bye.